At Wake Up, what we are aiming to do is to improve uh, safety and efficiency in the construction site. But with one little thing is we want to try to add the value as fast as possible from day one with uh, zero training and minimal disruption to the site. So when we look at construction challenges, uh, labor productivity has been one of the biggest challenges that they have uh, been lagging behind. And uh, because uh, the construction is uh, very labor intensive, uh, it makes sense to kind of look at uh, productivity from that from that perspective. However, with COVID-19, things actually got even worse. Some uh, so the, the, the average uh, indirect cost actually got uh, increased by at least uh, 15%, which is uh, a lot of money, especially when you're thinking about like projects like um, um, multi-million uh, and multi-billion dollar, uh, dollar projects. So in, in WakeCap, what we're aiming to do is we provide a real-time location service. Uh, and uh, the, the, the idea here is we designed it from scratch with construction in mind. We are aiming to overcome the challenges in connecting the site and connecting the workers. And uh, we, uh, WakeCab is basically considered one of the first solutions that overcame all the major challenges in, in, um, of connecting workers at the job site. So when we look at the challenges, we have uh, a site that is so dynamic uh, uh, that uh, lack connectivity and uh, makes it, make it a bit hard to actually utilize uh, uh, the conventional approach to connect the site. Uh, power is not always available. Internet is not always available. And uh, the, the site, as we said, is, is very dynamic. Now, from the worker perspective, the workers in general are reluctant to wear additional equipment. Not only that, but workers in a construction site usually are also dynamic. They come from one phase to another, different people coming in, in, in different days. So having a solution that requires training uh, or onboarding, a long onboarding, uh, this makes it infeasible to the industry. So in order to overcome the challenge, we had to look into these two factors when we build our solution. So our solution is basically made of since uh, from uh, in, in, we are integrating the sensor into the existing hard hat and uh, the battery life here we push it to uh, almost a year and a half uh, of battery life when it comes to uh, uh, the helmet now with the wireless mesh network that we are using uh, uh, in here is basically a battery powered devices that was also custom built for the for the for the construction industry. So we build those anchors or uh, routers, as we uh, like to name them sometimes in the wirepass wire pass terminology. And those anchor runs for uh, about four years of battery life in, in, in the, on the site. And our goal is to build a solution that is so easy to maintain and so easy to deploy uh, on the site as we're going to see in a few minutes. Now, what kind of data we collect from the site? We, we know how many hours people spend on the site, where exactly they spend it, and whether they are active or inactive. This is very important because you wanna measure if somebody is wearing the hard hat, if he is in motion or not, because it comes uh, uh, very useful for safety and productivity use cases. Now, with this data, when you know where people or where workers spend their time on the site, you get to know uh, uh, a lot of uh, information just by knowing where people are. Now, the use cases that we're looking at, we are looking at safety use cases, efficiency, and productivity. And when it comes to safety, we started with something as simple as improving the compliance of wearing the hard hat all the time on the site. And uh, we also have environmental sensor in the anchors or the routers that allow us to measure the, the humidity, temperature, and other uh, uh, information from the site uh, without any additional uh, hardware cost. Uh, because we know where everyone is on the site to a certain uh, level, we were able to build some COVID-19 related features. We'll uh, uh, show some of it uh, as we go. We're also having uh, uh, features coming up uh, later this year related to safety in particular, which it comes uh, around uh, evacuation, providing controlled access mechanism, and also uh, respond to uh, various kinds of emergencies. I mean, the hardware is already equipped with fault detection uh, algorithms. We also have uh, hidden back sensors in addition to a button that can be used for uh, as a panic button. 
Now, when it comes to efficiency, uh, the whole idea here is you want to know how things are going on the site. And you want to measure the efficiency in order to improve uh, uh, the, 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 the logistics, uh, uh, which basically will uh, affect uh, the, the productivity and the, co the overall cost. Now, the difference between efficiency and productivity is as simple as linking the data we collect with the plan of the project. The, the minute you know how much quantity has been delivered by a certain uh, crew or people, you will be able to, uh, to monitor the productivity down to uh, the labor productivity. And WakeCap is basically is considered one of the first solutions that actually calculate the actual productivity uh, because uh, today productivity has been um, uh, calculated uh, by looking at the total hours spent versus the total quantity being delivered. And uh, the, there is usually not very clear uh, distinction between how many hours being spent actually in the site uh, versus the hours spent in different re regions of the site. So today we're going to present a case study where uh, WakeCab was implemented at uh, uh, an ongoing construction site with more than 2,500 workers. I think we are touching the 3,000 so far. And uh, the, the site is basically uh, about 340 meter high, high rise. And um, the, they are currently, I think, in the level uh, 12. And they are uh, moving as, um, as fast as, I think, uh, one or two floors per week. So such a, such a case will give you an idea of how WakeCap basically being implemented today, and we'll walk you through the connecting the site and, the con and connecting worker in general. So when we connect the site, we, we take, we first we digitize the blueprints, and then we start defining different zones. So uh, these zones are basically according to the plan, according to the project uh, logistics, and when we define those zones, we categorize uh, the zones as uh, uh, either a direct productive zone, like this is where you expect people to be working directly. And uh, indirect productive zones, this is like the workshop, storage area, unloading area, offices, uh, and, and other uh, similar uh, areas. And then you have the non-productive zones, which is like you know the rest areas, toilet areas, parking, um, and other areas that you don't expect people to uh, to be there in the working hours. Now, based on this information, we will define, we'll de start deploying anchors on the site, depending on how many people we expect on the site, depending on how many zones. Uh, all that comes into uh, uh, consideration when we plan how many anchors we need to install on the site. And uh, what we also do, we try to measure the position and accuracy in a dynamic side. This is uh, very like have been very difficult to kind of uh, handle. How can we actually, when we place an anchor, how can we make sure that the environment changes are also captured? And what we did, we employed uh, some sort of uh, an algorithm that that allow us to tell to tell us like the error of the, the 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 actual position versus the approximated position of all the anchors. So it gives us an idea which anchor that needs to be uh, maybe uh, uh, maintained or. Uh, uh, we add additional anchor near to it to improve the position accuracy uh, that is required from uh, the business, uh, based on the business requirement. Now, when it comes to deploying hard hats, is, uh, we work very closely with the safety team. Basically, anyone who comes to the site, he, uh, he or she needs to do a safety induction. The safety induction requires a, a, a hard hat, and this is where we come as WakeCab. We provide the whole solution to the end users, and we explain to them how the system works, you know, what they do, and, uh, and then basically they, they take the hard hat and uh, off they go. I mean, there is no configuration, as we all know, and it's basically made it very simple to, uh, uh, to deploy uh, a huge amount of uh, assets in a very short uh, period. We were able to deploy about 600, uh, hard hat in a day, and this has becomes very important when it comes to uh, practicality and uh, and uh, the time, uh, the onboarding time to uh, utilize such a technology. Now, in our platform, we provide a real time uh, view uh, uh, of the safety compliance. So basically, what we're looking at, based on the motion sensor, we can tell if somebody is wearing the hard hat or not. So ideal worker, as expected, for example, in this region, we see like engineers when they are uh, at their office, they are not using the hard hat, so that's expected. And people on the side, they're usually uh, uh, working, and you see them green on on uh, on that. Now. 
when it comes to COVID-19 features, we offer uh, contact tracing by looking at the list of workers who have been in contact with, uh, with, with each other for uh, at least like 15 minutes in under like, uh, like within, within a very close parameter. Um, we also offer a kind of uh, social distancing guiding by uh, counting how many people per zone and whether they exceed the, the threshold or not. And uh, we, we remove the need for a, a tend or touch base attendant system because uh, Wake Up monitor all the work for us when they come to the site. So uh, one of the uh, basic use cases was to eliminate the need of uh, attendant systems with such a solution like Wake Up. Uh, here is some an example of the COVID-19 dashboard where we look at you know the the the, the 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 positively infected cases and then we look back for the for the previous uh, days of who they were in contact with so we can notify uh, notify those workers or at least uh, put them in quarantine for for a while to make sure that they are uh, not to, to basically to control the spread of the virus and this is one of the the, the interesting use cases we're looking at uh, additionally we uh, when once uh, once a worker get uh, basically uh, identified uh, with a uh, as a positive case we look into all the zones they were in contact with so uh, gives the safety management team an idea of which area which zone need to be disinfected now um, Earlier, I mentioned when we look at the zones, we look at, you know, we categorize those zones as a productive, not productive, and indirect productive. So in this case, this is a good measure for the, to, to measure the efficiency in a construction site. How many hours, or how many actual active hours spent on the site in productive zone versus the other zone. And this metric is one of the easiest metric to, to, to measure the, the efficiency and measure uh, the, the logistic challenges that might need to be addressed very early uh, on on the site, and this is what uh, this one of the the the, the simplest measure that we can uh, look into. Uh, we also look at productive zone related to a specific uh, uh, crew as well. So we look here, for example, this is an example of a single crew, um, and this is the single ratio. Basically, this is the efficiency ratio that we uh, explained a minute ago. Uh, but here we have also the actual hours versus the reported hours in the site. And this becomes very uh, interesting for uh, auditing purposes and other uh, other use cases. And th this is where WakeCap comes in and automate the hours collection and timekeeping in general in a construction site. 